hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're a whole subscriber thank you for coming back and if you're a new subscriber on my channel welcome to me slivers what you know how we do it <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning in so today's video as you can see by the title i'm going to be doing invade my privacy tag and i've been seeing this tag going around like on youtube and i was like let me do this and i wanted you guys um some of my new subscribers to get to know me so i was like let me do this tag so let's get right into the video so i'm going to be reading the question from my phone so just in case you're thinking what am i doing on my phone i'm reading out the question so, so yeah so the first question is did you wake up cranky mm, no i'll say no i did not wake up cranky i would say about last week most of the days i did wake up cranky because you know them times you know like you're going to work every day literally monday to friday work and stuff like that so during the week most of the time i wake up cranky but for today today's bank holiday monday i did not wake up cranky i woke up feeling very good i would say because i know it's bank holiday monday no work you know <laughs> so i would say i did not wake up cranky the second question is would you date an 18 year old at your current age sorry hello excuse me what no no mm -mm, i can't i just can't because it's more of me dating my little sister like let's say my sister is a girl is a boy so it's more of me dating my little sister let's say it's more like me dating my little brother as well because 18 year old boy is only two years older than my little brother then my sister which is gonna be 19 it's just nah at my current age because most guys in my age this is no shade this is some of them 30 percent of them or should we say 50 percent of them they still act like they're 18 you know then me going to an 18 year old child <laughs> did i say child <laughs> then me going to an 18 year old guy is just like no nah not me because at the end of the day like to be honest yeah age does not matter in a relationship but for me i would say no 18 year old no way the third question is do you prefer to be friends with boys or girls hmm this is a very tricky question because you know why guys like i could be friends with anyone yeah but the thing is once you're a friend with a guy it could it not it could lead to something else the guy could develop some random feeling for you and you don't want a situation whereby you're friends with a guy that you know that person definitely have some feelings for you then it's gonna be like a wet friendship but i would say to answer the question i will actually say i prefer girls to be friends with girls because at the end of the day girls will always be girls girls are emotional one girls are emotional will take things very personal girls it's, i don't know it's just girls like girls girls you know you get naked in front of each other nothing nothing but when I'm, when I'm friends with a guy yet, yeah, I really can't get naked in front of you. It's not possible. It's really not possible. And there'll be some certain things I want to talk to you about, but I really can't talk to you about it. Then I have to go, you know, call up my girls and start talking to them. So what's the point of being friends with a guy? But I do have a best friend, which is a guy. Babe. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So I do have a friend that is a guy. I have few friends that they're guys, but it's just the thing of we kind of know where we stand in each other's life and so i would say girls but at the same time i could handle boys as well to be honest because when you when you're friends with boys you learn so much like they have a lot of banter but most of the banters they're actually real there's something very very real in that banter so girls boys mm, i don't mind let me just say i don't mind but i really really prefer girls but i wouldn't mind boys as well the fourth question is would you ever smile as a stranger yeah do that every time i do that all the time <laughs> all the time like literally if you live in i wouldn't say london but if you live in a very civilized country and you walk on the streets people stare at you i will smile like if i'm walking on the street and you're looking at me or i could tell you're looking at me and we get the eye contact i would just smile at you and then that them smile like mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and 
the awkward smiles are the ones on the train like when you get on the train yeah and the train is so packed in the morning when you're going to work like if you live in london you will know what i'm talking about the train is very packed you're going to work and there's obviously everyone is looking at each other not like particularly looking at each other but it's just things that will happen normally and you just look at that person like mm. <laughs> sometimes yeah i get tired of doing <laughs> i just put my face like this <laughs> I just have a smiley face generally because I can't I can't go through the stress of <laughs> smiling to everyone just put a smile face on every morning going to work question number five can you commit to one person yeah am I supposed to commit to like 10 people just yeah I'm currently I am committed to one person but the question is a bit like so are you meant to commit to like three people at the same time Cause that's not commitment that's just you not committing to anyone but yes i can i would i will i can any word you can use i can commit to one person because i'm currently committed to just one person yes question number six how do you look right now um i think i look decent can you guys answer that question for me question number six how do I look right now? I think I look nice, pretty. Nice. <laughs> Good looking girl. <laughs> but you guys can answer that question for me. If you guys are hearing like a background noise, my little sister, she just got back in and she will definitely make a noise. And I guarantee you guys, she's gonna open this door very soon. But anyways, yeah. So guys, answer the question, how do I look right now? Or you guys can tell me how I look, but I think I look fantastic. Question number seven. What exactly are you wearing right now? I am wearing a dress I got from ASOS Yes, just a black dress. I'll show the black dress That's it really. I'm wearing a wristwatch from Fossil which is a gift from my friend and that's it really Question number eight. How often do you listen to music? If you know me, know me, like people that know me, know me, I am a freak for Afrobeats. Like anything Afrobeats, you will see me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I love Afrobeats, so I listen to music every time. Like I was just listening to music before I started recording the song. Like when I'm doing my makeup, when I'm, when I'm just, I don't know, I listen to music every minute, every seconds. Because when I listen to music, it actually makes me reflect on myself and I feel like that's my time. If you follow me on Snapchat, you will know this. Like, I might not Snapchat for the whole day, but when I want to Snapchat, it might be just music. Me just listening to music and singing. I love music. I don't know. And I can't even sing. Yeah, I can't sing. I admit that even though I always think I can sing. <laughs> I think I can sing because someone invited me to the studio, but you never know. <laughs> Libus Records. <laughs> But anyways, yeah, I listen to music every, every time. Question number nine. Do you wear jeans or sweat more? I believe that's like joggers. Yeah. Yeah. Do you wear jeans or sweat more? So I would say jeans. But recently I've been leaning towards like sweatpants, like joggers and stuff. But I would say I will... I would say I'm more of a jeans person, so yeah, I wear jeans more often than sweatpants. But question number 10. Do you think your life would change dramatically before 2017? Hey, 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 I do want my life to change dramatically before 2017. Hence, we are in May, which means we're literally sort of after the middle of the year and obviously when the year comes i believe everyone have like certain goals they want to achieve in a year i have my certain goals and i believe i haven't really achieved them i might have achieved some of it but not everything i want to achieve so if my life would change dramatically before the end of 2017 i would really really thank god for that but i want it to be a very good 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 change not a bad change a very good change in my life so yeah Sure. Question number 11. Are you a social or antisocial person? You know what, yeah, to be honest, I wouldn't call myself a social person and also an antisocial person because I think I've got two sides to myself. 
there's certain periods I just want to be antisocial. Like, there's nothing you will say to me that will make me socialize. Like, I would just be in my own zone. Everyone in my house knew me. Like, I would just be in my room. I will not talk to anyone. But to generalize, if I'm social or antisocial, I will say I'm in the media because if I'm put in a um, situation whereby I have to socialize with people, I've got no choice. I will. I have to socialize with people but if you leave me by myself antisocial yeah i will be antisocial grandmother mother father daughter i will just be antisocial so i'm more of a person like if you come to me i'll socialize with you if you don't come to me okay i'm joking i do care but i'm i'm not in the media like major there'll be some period of time i won't socialize a lot but there will be some period i just want to be by myself which is 90 percent i want to be by myself i don't know why Mm. Question number 12. If the person you like say they like someone else, what would you say? Sorry. You know how many people want me to like them? Do you know the advantage, the packages that comes with me liking you? You now want to tell me you're liking somebody else? Bro, like, you mad? I'm joking, but if I like someone and the person told me they like someone else, I will actually respect that person because that way they're not deceiving me. So if you don't like me and I do like you, that's your business. Even although it will hurt me, like I'll probably just say, oh, "Okay, yeah, it's fine. I'm alright. It's okay. I'll see you around, yeah." <laughs> but deep down, <laughs> chatting nonsense. If you don't like me, alright, it's fine. Cause tomorrow will come. You will like me. Watch that person that you like. Tomorrow will come. You don't like that person anymore. You will like me. <laughs> Question number thirteen. Are you good at hiding your feelings? Um, I will say. I'm not sure what sort of feelings we're talking about. Is it emotional or you just? I don't know. But I will actually say. I'm good at hiding my feelings. It depends on the like. It depends on who I'm hiding my feelings to. If it's people that they're close to me. I'm not good with it because you would genuinely like you will you can tell you will you'll be able to tell because I'm more of a bubbling person like I'm not that I would say I'm a quiet person but if you know me very well and I know you very well I'm comfortable around you I will not be quiet so I'll, I'll be of a chatty person laughing talking but if something is going down with me you will know because then I'll be quiet I wouldn't say nothing then you will know there's something wrong with this. But if you don't really know me that much, you, you will actually not know because you will think that's the way I am. So I will say I'm good at hiding my feelings to certain people and to certain people, they just know because they know me. So, yeah. Question number 14. Can you drive a stick shift? I believe that means can I drive a manual car? Um, I might be able to drive a manual car yeah I, I believe i can drive a manual car because when i was in um driving school i actually started with manual driving and when i mean i did like 30 not 30 20 lessons yeah i did like about 20 lessons and at that period there was no much like there was no much time for me to put into driving school so i had to like step back literally i stepped back for almost a year before i went back and when i went back i was like i can't go through the stress of going back to manual so i did automatic so i drive an automatic car right now but i believe i could drive a manual car i don't know i just feel comfortable that i could drive a manual car because question number 15 do you care when people talk badly about you no no i do not care if you talk badly about me but it depends on the people talking bad about me so if they're like close friends or people i call family or people i call friends and you talk bad about me Oh my god, I really do care. This actually happened to me recently. You know when you call someone your friend and they're saying something bad about you? It did hurt me because that's someone I actually trust. And I hardly trust people to be honest. Like I hardly trust people, but if I trust you and I care about you, if you talk something bad about me, it will actually help me and I would do I I would definitely care like if you're talking bad about me but if i don't know you like let's say social media or youtube or just random talking bad about me i do not give a shit about you i don't care whatever you have to say about me because i have a say here like if people don't talk about you 
you're nobody. So if you're talking about me in a bad way or in a good way, I am someone. You've got the time. You've got the time, the energy, the brain to sit down and stop talking bad about me. Go, boy. You go. I am someone. I am somebody. If you're talking bad about me and I don't know you and I don't give a shit about you, continue because I don't care. I do not care. So far, you're not people I care about. So far, you're not my close friends or my family. I definitely don't care. But if you're my family or my friends or I care about you and you talk bad about me, you know what? Bye. Bye. Question number 16. Are you going out of town soon? <laughs> I wish. No. <laughs> Always in London. <laughs> Always in London. When was the last time you cried? I cried yesterday. I cried. I think I cry every time. You know when you're laughing and you're crying, you're watching movie and you're crying. I cried yesterday and that's because I was watching what movie was this? Me and you? Is it me and you? I can't remember but if I remember I put the name here. I was watching on Amazon and I was like wow it actually got to me and I, I didn't know when I started crying which was yesterday so yeah, I did cry yesterday and I think I cry all the time to be honest. I'm, I'm a very emotional person. I might try, you know, be a bit like, I'm not emotional, but I am a very emotional person. Question number 18. Have you ever liked someone you didn't expect to like? Huh? Yeah, I think I have been in this situation before. Um, I never expired it. Like, I never expired it. It just happened. Never, never expired it. You know when you just know someone and when you met the person, you just like, get out of here, man. No sense. But that's just when I see the person, that's just the way I feel because I just don't like the person. But I started getting to know the person and I actually like the person and I'm still friends with the person till today. But when it comes to relationship, I don't judge on like face or how handsome you look or no, because. I can't deal with handsome guys. I just feel like the, the problem are too much. Anyways, yeah, I have an association whereby I did like someone which I didn't expect to like. Question number 19. If you could ever change your eye color, would you? No, no, no. I wouldn't change my eye color. No, 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 no. I believe I have a brown eyes. Not brown, but actually have a brown eyes if you look closely like <laughs> I actually have a brown eyes, but I will not change my eye color. I don't even know how people wear contact lens. Question number 20. Name something you have to do tomorrow. Walk. I'm going to walk. I am going to walk. And yeah, I think I'm just going to walk. When I get back, I'll try to edit this video. So I'm just walking and editing and that's it really. So that's the end of the video guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you do have any other tags you would like me to do, leave your comment down below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you do enjoy this video. Bye guys.